Foundation Friday. Let's put something to the test. And a warm welcome to one and all. For those of you who not seen me before, my name is Langers. I am the Scruffy Trader. And what I'm doing today is kind of putting into practice something that we've spoke about in the foundation this week. And if you're not sure what the foundation is, it's just me putting a series of videos together. Uh, some are public, some are for the Scruffy Squad, but they're all together. And you'll be able to use them as reference points. They're just quick and punchy. And then on a Friday, I kind of try and put into practice what I was talking about. So let me fire the screen over and we'll have a little look. Now I've pulled up the DAX simply because it moves quick. And the idea is just to get maybe five, ten pips out of it. Looking at the principles I was talking about. So this week in, or at least it will be in just a second. There we are. Um, it started. So this is the Discord group that I run. Uh, you're very welcome to come along and see it. And within it, I did an introduction as to what it is. I showed how uh, a fib extension can help you target. We spoke about how to develop your risk and position. Now we'll go more into that as this series goes on. And then the first part, how to find your key levels and what they represent. Very simple. Well, there's your key levels mapped in from how I showed you. And there is an execution target based on a FIB extension. And the idea is you can see it's broke the level. We are waiting for some form of a, a retest and then push up. Um, and that is it. Now you can do a couple of things here because you know what you're looking for. You know your momentum is to the upside or you believe it's to the upside. Why? Because it's broke the level and you can see the volatility within it. All right. Now that's on the one hour. Take this down to a five minute and sure enough, you can see all of that. Now there was already a big surge up sold off and then it's recovered so that tells you the sellers are not powerful enough to push this market down the buyers are in so what you can do we can just quickly drop an order in uh, we'll just do a pound a point for 10 pips just like so very very simple and that'll get us to the tops of there but why am I not targeting all the way up here? Why? That is an extreme target. You know, that's the outer limit of where I think this market might push to. However, I don't want it to be sort of stressed and hassled. I want an easy trade. So all I'll do is go about halfway between there and there. Simple, 10 pips. It's not bank busting stuff. I've got a level here that can protect because that can come down and bounce off. So that's not too far. If I am wanting to go further into the trade, I could put another order here for it to come down, pick that up and then move up. Simple stuff, but I like prices to come to me. And it appears to be on the push side very very simple and this is just from a level and a fib right kind of putting my money where my mouth is if you like. and that's it guys very very simple so we'll let this run out see if it hits the 10 pips or whether i have to put an extra order in if it gets down onto this level i will put another order in uh to go up to there uh, but that's just part of trade management and something that will move on to 
as we go forward in this little exercise. So let me see if this runs out and then happy days, we'll have a chat at the end of it. There you go guys, job's done. So what I'd have done, I'd taken an extension from a prior move, which was that. Have some key levels in to give me an idea of how the trade might play out. This gave me a target point. Try not to be too greedy. So midway, 10 points. And then also using the level as a secondary bounce point if it went against me. And if you looked at it, the trade didn't go against me very much. Well planned, well executed, and it's paid me. So add that on to what I've been doing earlier on. And there you go. You know, very, very simple trade. Okay. Happy days. Happy days. So that'll start your foundation going. Um, do keep your requests coming in. And do comment on the bottom of the video because that's what drives these videos. If I don't see the comments, um, there's no point carrying on. Because I'm not psychic. I don't know what you're after. Uh, very, very simple. And that's that. So, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one, guys.